Camtasia 9 is a great upgrade from TechSmith, but if you're a Camtasia 8 user, there are some things you absolutely must know to keep from going insane. <laughs> Welcome to this episode of the Camtasia 9 Survival Guide, where I'll show you a quick time and frustration saving tip for playhead snapping. And we're starting right now. Hi, Lon Naylor with Learn Camtasia here, and be sure to click the subscribe button to this channel for the latest, greatest Camtasia tips and tricks. Here's the problem we're going to fix today. In Camtasia 8, we're all familiar with the playhead snapping feature. If I scrub the playhead through these two clips on the timeline, it will snap itself exactly between them, indicated by this yellow highlight. I can now hold down the shift key move my playhead and ripple move all my assets down the timeline to make a hole, as an example. Snapping is the secret sauce that gets us in the absolutely correct spot to make that happen. Meanwhile, over in Camtasia 9, with two clips together on the timeline, watch as I scrub. Yeah, there's no snapping. That's not because the playhead snapping feature isn't in Camtasia 9, it's just that by default it's turned off. If you'd like Camtasia 9 to behave the way you're used to in Camtasia 8, you need to go to View and click Enable Playhead Snapping to turn it on. And then snapping to elements on the timeline works again. Like I mentioned, Camtasia 9 is an excellent upgrade, but if you're a Camtasia 8 user, there are some things you need to know that are slightly different or flat out gone that will affect your video work. To help you survive this transition, I've created a special newsletter cleverly called the Camtasia 9 Survival Guide where I'll send out weekly bulletins, tips, tricks, gimmies, gotchas, and all kinds of stuff to help make sure we all get up to speed quickly. Just click the link to sign up. Hey, thanks for watching. Leave your questions and comments, and I'll chat with you soon.